we're now going to talk about stretching and compressing. And we're going to start with our absolute value. So f of x equals the absolute value of x. And we're talking about the vertical case. Remember, vertical means it's outside of the library. So what we're really looking at is some a times the absolute value of x on the outside. Notice this a looks familiar. This is similar to what we did when we talked about reflections, but in reflections we only let it change signs. We didn't let it change values. It was always a 1 or a minus 1. But what happens if we let it be a 2? And so the big thing to remember is on vertical, then if, uh, if the number is bigger than... So we're going to talk about the absolute value of a. If it's bigger than 1, then it's a stretch. It gets taller, it gets skinnier, it, we're stretching it vertically. But if the absolute value of A is between 0 and 1, then we're going to compress it. It's going to get smaller. So we'll demonstrate that using GeoGebra again. So here's our default, both of them being the same, graph. And what we want to do is let's change our A, and let's let A be 2. So again, 2 is bigger than 1, so it should get taller. Notice that the, the v part, that connection still is at 0, 0, because the absolute value of 0 is 0, and 2 times 0 is still 0. So this didn't move. But this point, instead of being at 1, is at 2. This point, instead of being at 2, doubles and becomes 4. So I've stretched it. I've grabbed it on the top, and I've pulled it up. But this reference point still stays the same. I can compress it just as much. I can let a be a half. And if it's a half, notice that here it's squished. It got smaller. It's compressed. Instead of going over one, up one, it's over one, up a half. Instead of being at over two, up two, it's over at two, up a, up a half. Instead of being at four, it's at two. Instead of being at three, it's at three halves. Notice that works in both directions. So this is a non-rigid transformation because I've changed the rigid shape of the absolute value. It's still a V. It's just got a different slope because of what I've done with my A. And that's how we stretch and compress vertically. And again, remember, it's, we knew it was vertical because it was outside of the absolute values.